hello, hello, everybody. Why am I wearing a headset right now? It's because I just finished streaming the new, the new frontier that, no, bitch, what? The Walking Dead, the new frontier, and I just streamed it on a mixer. You should totally go watch my stream or else you're just gonna have to wait until I post it on YouTube. And who the fuck knows when I'll do that? <laughs> Early birds always get the worm. You should go follow me on Mixer. Today, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me video like I always do, but like I've really been feeling really disgusting lately. Maybe it's depression, maybe it's anxiety, maybe it's the fact that I haven't been on a date in like January, February, March, April, May, June. Six months? Honestly, I think the last date that I've been on, December of 2019? January, February, March, April, May, June. Seven months? My hair. I need to go take a fucking shower. I need to go wash this wig, brush my teeth, do my makeup. Maybe do like a little workout. No, so I've been telling myself that I'm gonna be working out for two weeks and it has not happened. Oh crap. Like, ah, no! So I'm gonna tell you what I use in the shower. A lot of these. Oh, that's my mom's boyfriend's stuff. We have these. I like using these. Smooth me over moisturizing body wash. Great. Can you not? Smooth me over moisturizing body wash with grapefruit and coconut. Smells beautiful. The only thing is it's kind of liquidy. You see, it's just be pouring out. Oh, oh, don't flirt with me. Did I shave a little bit? Oh. I wish I can tell you where I got this rope bum, but I have no idea, but it's very, very comfortable. Oh, no, wait, I need socks and underwear. Okay, now we're ready to go in the shower. I don't even know what this video is. So wampa, so wampa, so wampa, so wampa, so wampa. I was gonna do a video about your faves, your little fave, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star. Do I wanna be messy? Here's the thing, it's not messy, it's truthful. I am not in any way, shape, or form a common Terror, is that like a thing I'm by any means a commentary channel, but I am still human, which means that I still have an opinion on things. And I'm gonna be honest, some of your favorite people should not be your favorite people. If they are, I kind of question what your values are. So much drama centering around these people will give you the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe you didn't really mean it. And I don't think that's, we gotta nip that in the butt right now. I've said it and you also wouldn't have done it, any of those things that you've done. People need to stop making excuses for grown ass people. These people are adults. They know exactly what they're doing and they continue to do it. So yeah, you can make those apologies all you want, but I don't know, man. You do it once, okay, maybe you're just stupid. You do it the second time, I, you have nobody but yourself to blame. You do it the third time, you just don't care. You just grew up thinking that all those racist, sexist, disgusting, inappropriate jokes were funny. That's a problem to me. If you come into my family, the first thing that you're gonna get hit with is a roast. Roasting sessions are like initiation processes, but they're never insulting. They're never insulting to a race. They're never insulting to, a gender, sex, uh, they're never like sexist jokes, they're never pedophilic jokes. That's just for Saint Shane Dawson. Jeffree Star always likes to say that he's always in a dark place and I heard that whenever people try to talk about him, um, he likes to come for them. I, you're not gonna stop me from saying my piece. I just think actions speak louder than words and the day that they decide to actually do something, we stop making so many apology videos and start doing something that could actually help the black community. Yeah, I'll accept it then, but right now, I'm not accepting anyone's apology. I need to see that you really mean it. And I really wanna go to Michael, so I need to start doing my makeup. I just had to, I had to say my piece. I had to say it, and I just needed to let it all out. So right now, um, that is my piece. That is how I feel on everything. I need to see actions. I don't need words anymore. I need action. Take those actions. If you can sit there and make an apology video, you can sit there and sign some petitions and donate to some organizations, my love. Have more black people on your team, you know, hire some more black folks. I'm just saying, there's so many things that you could be doing right now. So I've been thinking about going back to college and I've been looking in a bunch of different places. I've been looking in the UK, uh, Los Angeles. I've been looking in New York City, but I kind of don't want to go back to New York because I did not, I didn't enjoy my time in New York. Let me tell you that. There's just so much depression in New York City. Everyone is always doing something. There's a whole bunch of like crazy people in there. Everyone just wants to like have sex and there's like a thousand different people in there. So of course you, you want to have options. I just feel like the the whole hookup culture is just getting so old. There's no passion there. 
I don't know, I'm over the whole hookup culture. You know, like, do what you want, of course. If that's your cup of tea, then do what you want, but like, it's not for me. I had this one friend who like, kept telling me that I would never be in an actual relationship and I should actually just start being okay with playing around and stuff. Like, okay, first of all, that's rude. I can be in a relationship if I want to. You know, just because somebody else is scared of falling in love doesn't mean that you have to be. Guys, I'm so sorry, but this is in the middle of me editing, but I also noticed that when I was editing it, I had a thought and I was like, how rude of somebody to say that you should only want to be a part of the hookup culture because you'll never go far in like wanting to be in a relationship. Like that is so fucked up. Up and so mean that's basically telling you to your face that you are not worthy of being loved and that's so fucked up like thinking about that is just ridiculous you are worthy of being loved and you deserve to be respected in any type of way whether you are a part of hookup culture or even if you're in a relationship you deserve to be respected so since when has wanting to be in a relationship been so taboo what happened to this world? Like, what is going on in this generation? Sorry, I don't want to go over a boy's house just to do the do, just so that he can tell me that my Uber is waiting outside. I'm sorry, I don't want to get kicked out at 2 o'clock in the morning so I can walk home after he just, like, had sex with me. I'm sorry that I don't want to just be another phone number on his call list that he can just call whenever he wants to hit and quit. Like, no. I'm about to turn 20. I'm 19 years old right now. I don't have time for drama and bullshit and for boys to be acting like boys. It's either you want me or you don't. I'm not competing with anybody. I'm not going out of my way to go to your house at 10 p.m. I'm going to sleep. Do not text me at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. I'm not answering. These guys, they don't care about how you're feeling on the inside how your day was they don't care about that they only care about one thing so like i'm not going out of my way for anybody who doesn't care about my well-being falling in love is scary guys that doesn't mean it's horrible that doesn't mean that every experience that you experience is going to be the same experience you have with the next experience you just need to experience it all okay this is why it's called experiences because you learn and you grow and i do what i want i just don't like people telling me what i should do with my life just because something didn't work out for them that's why it's your life and not my life you see your name is your name and my name is my Asia. We're two different people. Also, if anybody's wondering, I got this shirt from Fashion Nova. We're not really in a good space with Fashion Nova. I just figured I should tell you. It's cute or whatever. You're pairing it with these sweeners that I got from Pretty Little Thing. Oh, they're cute. They're so cute. Ooh. 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 I need to get some socks. But when we go around here. Also, I don't know if anybody noticed, but I've been rocking some new jewelry. This is from LB Luna Bille. It is a black owned brand that is on Instagram. I'll definitely link it below, but she has so many cute things. She has the zodiac sign necklaces. The one that I have says Libra, of course, because I am a Libra, if you guys didn't know that. I also got like this whole package from her, which is just a bunch of eyelashes. There's so many beautiful lashes. I will do like a whole entire review for the next next video once like everything comes in because I want to be able to do a full face of black owned products not just like a few little things here and there they all come in like this really cute little cubby here I think this is so cute so I reviewed this product in the last no it wasn't the last video but in one of the videos it's still going I still use it but I've like been using it with my fingers I feel like that's unsanitary it feels so good dude there's actually something wrong with my skin like it's actually so dry and I have oily skin I feel like that's a problem Look at that. Look how my skin just drunk that up, man. Love it when it's tacky like that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is put on the e.l.f. primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. But anyway, conversation about boys. Um, But yeah, like this year, because we were in quarantine for so long, I've been very alone. And I noticed that I tended to want to fill this void. I think being alone this entire quarantine has taught me that I don't need a man in my life to make me happy. I'm now gonna be using the Laura Mercier setting powder. You know, I was like finally stuck by myself and that's when I decided to make YouTube because uh, before quarantine, I was working. I was working at Saban. I think I told you guys that in a previous video. I always had something to do. After quarantine happened, now I had absolutely nothing to do but to sit with my thoughts and try to figure out why the fuck I am the way I am. Being by myself has taught me that I, one, don't need a guy in my life in order to make me happy. Two, I've been a lot more focused on what I actually want. To focus on music and songwriting and to want to go to school 
for film i've learned that i have a passion for film i'm not going to be using the 24 hour super stay 24 hour foundation from maybelline sorry i had to get my words together no i've just been a lot more focus on my career. I will always put my career first because at the end of the day, all I have is myself. Granted, I have a lot of family members, but we don't talk a lot. I don't like forcing relationships to happen. At the end of the day, I only have me to count on. So I need to do everything in my power to make sure that I am where I need to be. With that said, I have figured out the things that I want in a guy. I want that guy to be patient. I want that guy to be lovable. And I want him to be able to tell me what's wrong. I've been with so many people who are so guarded. And I'm telling you right now, if you are looking to marry someone, if you're looking to be in a relationship with someone, you have to open up. You have to be willing to open up. If you are not going to open up right now, you're not going to be able to open up to them when it actually matters, when you guys are dealing with an issue. I can't explain to you how many times I've had issues with guys who have not opened up. I can't understand you if you are not willing to tell me what's wrong, what triggers you, what bothers you. These are things that I want to know. These are things that your partner is going to want to know, especially if you're going to be in a relationship. I hate people who are like on dating apps who want to look for a partner in their life and think that that person is not going to ask them questions. I'm going to ask you questions. I'm going to be using Born This Way concealer, contour, blah, blah, blah. All these brands right now are like eh, to me, but I haven't gotten like the rest of the packages for the Blackwing brand. So this is what I got right now. Yeah, I just, I can't be with somebody who can't open up to me. I don't like crawling on eggshells. I don't like feeling like I have to baby you. Or I'd be like, hey, what's wrong? And they're like, this is wrong. Not, hey, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. And then you ignore me for two hours and I have to figure out what's wrong with you. I just, I don't have the time. I need them to act like adults so that we can have an adult relationship. I also need somebody who's consistent. Somebody who is loyal and isn't going to flirt with every single girl that they come across. Now, I get it. You want to talk to like a million different people. Don't worry. I get that. It's a part of life. You're still young. You want to do that. Like if you just want to have sex, go have sex, dude. Nobody is stopping you. Don't be in a relationship and do that. That makes absolutely no sense. Maybe don't talk about other people in front of me. I thought that was common sense, but apparently it's not. It all stems from either fear of being in love or seeing their parents in relationships that aren't the best. I mean, if I'm honest, the hookup culture thing started for me because I've been in relationships that haven't really worked out. Not to say what was me, but I'm just saying there are people out there that are still hurting and they're taking it out on others. I just think everybody needs to understand that love is not a fairy tale. You're not gonna be happy 24 seven. Oh fuck. Wow, this is so much powder. I've never put this much powder on my face in my life. I look like a peacock. You're gonna have your bad days and you're gonna have your good days. When people stop thinking that relationships are forever and they just have fun with it, then everybody would be happy. That's just my take on things. I just feel like I'm gonna be a lot more careful with who I talk to and who I allow into my life, into my circle nowadays. I have a list of things that I want in a guy and nowadays, if they don't have that, then I need to move on. Like I can't waste my time anymore. I'm still young, I'm still like, trying to figure out who I am, still trying to figure out like what I want to do in my career. I have no time for games, the lies, the cheating. I literally, I cannot, I don't have time for it. When you guys start acting like adults, come call me, text me, you have my number, but right now I can't do that. Just let me know if you ever, if you like feel the same way that I do. When you meet a girl that actually like gets past all those boulders that you put in the way, what do you do? You just tell her to get out? You just like, let, you don't, you don't even want to explore that? You're stupid. Do not let him treat you like caca. You guys are fucking beautiful. You guys are fucking amazing. And you have so much love in your heart. If he is not supporting you and your career in any type of way, if he is constantly nagging you and telling you that you're not beautiful, you're too fat, maybe you should do this, maybe you should lose weight, maybe you should gain weight, he is not the one for you. He does not deserve your tears. Stop crying over him. Because there is a guy out there who is going to treat you like a princess, who's going to treat you like a queen. And just because... You have standards doesn't mean you're the you're the worst person in the world. Oh my god, she has standards? What a fucking bitch. No, it's okay to have standards. As long as they're like things that people can actually attain. Like guys, when they have standards, they have really stupid standards. It's like, she has to have a big butt. She has to have big boobs. Her type of standards are so superficial. Mine is just... You have to be able to be supportive of my dreams. You have to open up to me. You can't disrespect me and my race or my family. You need to be understanding and educated about everything that's going on. Oh, if a boy has hazel eyes and some tattoos and some piercings, wow! You won't make me forget about myself. What standard? What standard? Okay, so I'm gonna go back in in the Luna Belez. I believe it's Belez. Luna Belez. 
I don't know, it sounds so pretty. I'm gonna go take one of these lashes and just put it on both of my eyelashes. For those of you who don't know what lash glue I'm using, I'm using the Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe um, from Kiss. Oh my God, I don't think I have finished talking about colleges. Yeah, so I'm thinking about going to college for film. I really wanna go in the UK, but because we have the ban on traveling, it's really difficult. My mom's been telling me I should probably look somewhere local. I, I kind of don't wanna be in America at all. I need a break from Zaya Americans. I need to go far, far away. Plus I've just always wanted to experience new cultures. Oh my God, please don't fuck this up, Maya. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh God. I love these. It's really hard to find actual lashes that actually shape my face really nicely, but I think these are really nice. So yeah, I didn't really like have a um idea of where this video was going. I just want to sit here and really just chat about like my life updates and all that stuff. And really just have a video where I can vent because things have been going on that I just like to talk about. So I'm gonna go get my lipstick. Should I do a red or should I just be chill? I feel like I should just be chill. Cause my hair's already red, my shirt is already red. I'm just gonna be chill. All right guys, that's it for this video. I just hope that like some of the things that I say in this video resonate with you. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go hit the subscribe button and the like button. All the rest of my social media links will be in the description box below. So make sure that you go check that out. And that is the end of this video. So uh, bye guys. Go be good people. Bye. <laughs>